Hello, my friend. Roll Tide. Steve Shannon, what's happening, baby? <laughs> Roll Tide to you. I'll tell you what's happening. You're happening. That's what's happening. Uh, it, must be, it must be a slow day for news if I'm happy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Finally, we escape from politics to talk about something that's really going to affect our lives. Uh, oh, my God. When I, when, when, when I saw the headline that said, uh, Rama Jamma sold, my heart dropped. Because I'm like everybody else around here that appreciates the tradition and, and everything you've done for 21 years at Rama Jamma. And we knew, of course, that the place was for sale. And I think I had mentioned it to you when you came to see us one morning. Uh, we hated that, and, but, but you said you had all these offers, but everybody basically wanted you to give it to them, which I can understand that. Uh, and, well, you, sure, and you said, yeah. no, you said, no, I'm not going to give this place away. I know it's worth and it's value. And along comes this cat from New York City. New York City? New York City? Are you kidding me? How in the world did that happen? Well, oh, I, and, and, that, and that's a great, you, you led me right into my first question. How in the world did that happen? How in the world did that happen? Well, it's, it's real funny. Uh, I was on the grill on Saturday, which is our one of our busiest days, so two or three months ago, and one of the cashiers came around the counter. Mr. Lewis, somebody's here who wants to talk to you about buying the restaurant. I said, well, tell him to call my agent. I'm busy. I ain't got time to talk to it. I have always wanted to be able to say that. I've never <laughs> been in that position in my life. No. Call and my I, agent. In retrospect, I said, man, did I just mess up? But anyway, she <laughs> came back around the counter in about 30 minutes. He is still here. He wants you to come out and say hello. Wow. I said, well, tell him to hold on. I'll be right out. So I put down my spatula and told somebody to scramble my eggs. I told him I'd be right back. Went around on me. Wouldn't it have been funny if you'd walked out and there sat Jimmy Adams? <laughs> uh, if, if Jimmy Adams had been sitting there, I'd have caved in the place. <laughs> oh, I God. would, too. I, I know. I, that that would probably do Tuscaloosa really well if I gave Jimmy Adams that for Ram <laughs> Town. He'd I make a it. fortune, that's for sure. He would make a fortune. But anyway, this kid sitting there, he introduced himself, and, uh, and he said, I heard the restaurant's for sale. I'd be interested in talking to you. And I said, well, I'm real busy right now, but yes, it is for sale. Uh, and here's the price. He said, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Excuse, did you? Did you? You're like, excuse me. What? I, I said. Uh, yeah. Basically, I said. Wait a minute. I think the eggs have gotten to me over the years. <laughs> you say you'll take it. He said yes. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I want to spend three days with you. I said okay. Well, come on back. Now, did you know at that point? I mean, you know, anybody can say that that he had the financial, uh, nah, you know, I backing to not. do it. I had no clue. I did not know who he was. Uh -huh. Never met him before. I so, told. In response to that, I said, yeah, right, sure, okay, well, you'll take it that easy, no negotiating. So he comes back, and uh, we sit down, and I said, well, just tell me a little bit about you, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I'm Michael Hebron, I'm from uh, New York City, my office is one Rockefeller Plaza. Whoa. I said, Rockefeller Plaza, now that rings a bell, that sounds <laughs> like money, you know, that just sounds like money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Yes. Yes, and he said, uh, I'm a professional golfer, retired. Nice. Uh, my father's in the PGA Hall of Fame. Nice. We're in the insurance business in New York. And my daughter went to school here at Alabama. There you go. Okay, well, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, the pieces of the puzzle come together mm -hmm. a little bit. He said, mm -hmm. I've been, she's graduated. She's going to be living in Tuscaloosa. And uh, she's already here, and she's going to be teaching school. And he said, I've seen this place for four years. I've been in a time or two on game day and then on other occasions. And when I found out it was for sale, he said, my love of Alabama football and my daughter living here, I'm interested in buying your restaurant. And so pretty much that's how it all began. Unbelievable. And he went back home to New York, closed out his business interests up there, and was back uh, in a few days later with all of his clothes in his car. He said, I'm here. This My time. God! Now that shows his commitment that he was right there. I mean, obviously, to walk away from Rockefeller yeah, Plaza. That, 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 that blew, that's 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 both right there. When he when he committed his personal life to that point, I said, "This guy must be legitimate," you know, wow. uh, as far as I can tell. So we spent. Uh, we're we're going, we're still going through transition. Now, now, when you went to bed that first night after you knew this was a deal, and you were you were basically selling your baby after twenty one years, I mean, you found it in Rammer Jammer. You saw the potential in what had been a gas station and a convenience store and everything else. Correct. And, and Correct. now, now you're part of the Alabama tradition. There's no question about that with Rammer Jammer. Uh, when you went to bed that night, did uh, did you wonder, have I screwed up? Have I made a mistake? Uh, did you did you second guess it at all? Well, 
Uh, I didn't second guess it, but I did go through a range of emotions. Like you had really to. Just did I really just do this? You had I mean, to. Am I am I gone? It's like your daughter getting married or something. I would imagine. I don't I know. Yeah, something. But you know, the way we have done this thing, I'm still there. Yeah. So that gets okay. Me. Now I want to make that clear. You are still part of. Now, how long will you remain part of Rama Jamma? Uh, as long as my knees and my legs and my back and my brain, well, the brain's both gone. <laughs> but as long as, as, long as, as long as those things will continue to give me the ability to be there, I'm going to be there. Well, see, he has secured me there in that regard. And that's that good. If that's good. It sounds like your buyer, uh, Mr. Hebron, is his heart's in the right place, and we love all that. But 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 you are Ramajam, and having that familiarity is part of what attracts people to the place. So I'm happy, Gary that you're still going to be there. We're talking to Gary Lewis, the founder of uh, Rama Jammer, the new owner taking this thing over. What's going to change, if anything? Well, you know, in that during the time we were talking, I, I emphasized that. I said, you know, I've had a lot of offers from people. I had an offer from Mississippi that one told me I could have every piece of memorabilia in the place. They did not want any of that. Forget it. They were going to start, turn it into a T-shirt outlet. Oh, my but God. But didn't want any of the memorabilia. I said, you know, the memorabilia is part of this place. It makes it. It's part of me, the memorabilia. Because yeah. I hung every one of those pictures, football, yeah. helmets, yeah. shoulder pads. I, I hung every one of those. That's why you can't get within a mile of the place on game day. It's so popular. And, you know, and well, you know, and it's like you said earlier, it is part of the tradition. It is. You know? And that was my vision 21 years ago. Yeah. I said, you know, I want to be a good ambassador to yeah. the University of Alabama. I want to be a good ambassador to the city of Tuscaloosa, and I think we've accomplished those. Well, you I certainly think. have, and, and kudos to you for it. And, and, and on top of all that, you look up a little bit like Nick Saban. Well, you know, and, and that doesn't hurt, in my opinion, as far as marketing <laughs> is concerned, because I do have people come in and say, you're as close as we'll ever be to Nick Saban. <laughs> And I respond back to them, and I say, I'm as close as I've ever been. <laughs> so I, I totally understand what you're talking about. Meg Summers has a question for you, Gary Lewis. Gary, now that we've hit you with the flattery, can you tell me what the secret is to the milkshakes at Ram and Jamas? <laughs> love. It's, it's love. Absolutely 10% butterfat. Did I just say that on the air? Ooh, okay, okay. 10% okay. butterfat, and you're off and running. All right. Nice. We love to break news on the show. Now we know. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I'll tell you what. Everybody that comes in now will lose 10 pounds. Well, don't don't change a thing. <laughs> the wrong direction, did not <laughs> All right, we understand Rama Jam is going to add some outdoor uh, uh, grandstands or seating or something on game day. That's a change coming up. Well, you know, I think New York City does everything in a big way. Yeah, they do. From what, I, so what I've seen in pictures, <laughs> books, I've never been up there. No, <laughs> I'm not ready. He, he wants me to go up there <laughs> with him and meet this person. I said, I don't belong in New uh, York City. I'm good right here in Tuscaloosa, <laughs> Alabama. I'm happy here. And then he said, you'd be a hit up there the way you talk. <laughs> you kind of talk funny down here. <laughs> That's right. But anyway, yeah, he's uh, he's got some ideas uh, that he's throwing out there. Uh, but my uh, advice to him early on was, Get Ramadama settled in first yeah. to your liking, you know. Yeah. Learn what the, the core Ramadama is, and then venture out into these other outlets and these other things that you want to do. So, Well, the bottom line is the food's not going to change, and the decor's not going to change, and you're still going to be around, and that's the most important thing. Well, I appreciate those kind words, and the food is not going to change, and the decor's not going to change. Uh, he's going to take down a few of the pictures of me, which I told him to do. <laughs> he needs to put his footprint on it and we'll get it going for the next 21 years. Well, I love that. I love your attitude. We love you to Thank death. You. We appreciate you. you. As Mama fans, we value you and uh, happy to have been able to talk to you this morning as you are front, front page news, my friend. Well, that's, like I say, it must have been a slow business on news day. <laughs> and any day you want to show up with a cheeseburger and milkshakes, come on down. <laughs> you got a deal, brother. I'll bring both of y'all one. We love you. Roll Tide. Gary Lewis, the founder of Rama Jamma, part of the fabric of the family of the University of Alabama, now a new owner from New York City. But it's all going to be okay. The Steve Shannon Morning Show, 95.3 Thug.